how to connect your cheap earbuds to your mixer for direct audio monitoring. Stay tuned, because I'm about to hook you up. It's good for you. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Pete coming back with another awesome video. And today it's going to be a little bit different uh, video. I don't know, but you know, I was looking for the answer to this and I accidentally came up with the solution uh, because I couldn't simply find anything like this uh, on YouTube or anything. So I thought, okay, well, I must not be the only one. Maybe that have this idea of uh, uh, this particular problem and maybe I'm gonna do a video about that. So remember when I did my unboxing video of my new Yamaha mixer? Yeah, I did say in this video that if I'm gonna find anything like relevant, interesting or anything at all that I think may need to be said, I'm gonna make a follow-up video about it. Mixer-wise, I absolutely love it, you know. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, it's gonna be coming up right now on the card section, so have a look and then go back to this video uh, to see what it is. But anyways, if you are on this video, uh, you must have been specifically searched for this uh, problem, I, b I believe. Or I don't know, maybe YouTube just uh, randomly suggests this content to you. If that's the case, then I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you're gonna ask me, why would I want to connect a cheap earbuds to my Yamaha mixer or to any mixer in this instance, I think? Well, I have a good reason for it. Why? Because you'll be like, oh yeah, why you connect that and why you don't connect your normal headphones to it? Well, I do connect my headphones to it uh, when I do my reaction videos or when I play uh, any games from my, like using my PC. But I'm a PlayStation user as well. And if I want to record my PlayStation gameplays, well... For those of you who dealt with PlayStation before, you know what I'm talking about. So, for example, if I want to connect my cheap earbuds to my controller over here, I won't be able to record the audio through my Elgato. Uh, okay? That's just simple as that. I've tried it back and forth. The only thing, uh, the setup uh, that I use uh, that works for me is those Turtle Beach um, Bluetooth or wireless ear uh, headphones. Uh, that are actually quite good. I absolutely love them. They are connected to my PlayStation via optical cable and only that way when I put them on I can hear my gameplay and That's that's just where it is and I can then record through my Elgato. That's just what it is Unless there is a different way with plugging million of cables Maybe I like simple so I li I've got those plus they're really comfy anyway, so I really enjoyed using them. I've had them for about three years now and I absolutely recommend this headsets to anyone. I think this is Turtle Beach Elite uh, for PlayStation. It, there is a separated one for Xbox, I believe, you know. But anyways, this is not exactly what I wanted to show you today. So the idea is that when I play my game, I can still hear myself in those through direct audio monitoring. Now, you may ask yourself a question, well, hang on, you, you did had this before because you saw me with my earbuds. But the thing is that that was back in the day when I was using only my um, Blue Yeti mic. Now that I need uh, to connect my XLR uh, uh, Rode NT1 directly to my mixer, it's a whole different thing, you know. Um, on Rode NT1, there is no way that I can plug in the, um, the little mini headphone jack uh, to it to get my uh, direct audio monitoring. I need to plug it in that to my mixer. And when I plugged in that to my mixer, so you can do it on two simple things. Because if you plug in the earbuds directly using the TRS uh, thing into into the uh, into the um, into your mixer, it won't work. Most likely, it really won't work. Uh, so then you can A, choose to buy an expensive earbuds that, uh, that are essentially like uh, audio monitoring type earbuds. Now I found some online, you know, for like 70, uh, 70 pounds, 100 pounds, 130 pounds, you, you know, there's lots of those. Um, or you can get yourself a little, little adapter, uh, which I found this on Amazon and a link to this item is going to be down below. It actually works, guys. I know that this is 
also been used in like cars and stuff uh, I don't know essentially what it is this is ground loop isolator so any type of uh, weird noises and stuff that you may hear through your earbuds or headsets or whatever when you plug in um, your headsets to whatever and then you hear a weird sound maybe you need one of this but this saved me a hundred pounds earbuds to buy because this costed me only like 10 pounds on amazon 949 something like this so i'm gonna put a link down below to this and i'm gonna try to find it on amazon us as well for those of you who are uh in united states but anyways guys i mean this is really what you need and let me show you how this is uh how this looks so this is the thing guys that's what it is essentially and what you want to do is you want to get because it comes with this little cable it's simple you plug in the cable okay you plug in the cable you plug in your favorite earbuds to the other side now this you plug in your trs okay and i'm gonna show you the image now this is how it's connected and yeah you connect it this way to your uh, mixer i don't feel like this is only my yamaha mgu i feel like this would be happening on any mixer or maybe even audio interface because to be honest previously i've been using just a simple uh two line uh audio interface by roland and i was able to hear myself in it but it wasn't like amazing yeah now when i plugged in this um ground loop isolator wow the sound that was coming out of those little cheap earbuds you would not believe it was so clear and loud and everything so you can then volume up and down and just choose how loud this you want it to be but to be honest guys that is what it is that is basically 10 pounds or 10 dollars solution versus a flipping hundred dollars or pounds or over solution to get a, a expensive earbuds over a little simple thing that potentially you you know it can save you a lot of money right here all right guys i feel like this is going to be everything of what i got for you today thanks so much for your time thanks so much for tuning in i hope you guys found some value in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did do me a favor and absolutely demolish this like button and also share this video with your friends and for those of you who are new to my channel i would really appreciate your help by subscribing by joining the psiabushka gang so uh yeah do subscribe if you want to and also if you choose to do that do not forget to hit that bell and click all so you can see all of my stuff coming out when i release my video so you never miss any video because youtube has been doing a whole bunch of weird stuff lately but anyways that is for another video guys um check out my cards check out my uh, end screens you know check out some gameplays and other videos and i will see you guys in the next one all right Thank you so much again. Pete out. Peace.